welcome to Music of the Armenian Liturgy. My name is Armenia Sarkissian, and today we're going to be discussing the well-known ceremonial hymn, Urach Ler. Like always, the time codes are in the description box below if you want to skip ahead to my recording of this beautiful hymn, but keep on watching to learn a little bit about it. This sharagan is most commonly used for weddings. It's a very ancient hymn of the people that was transcribed and arranged by Archimandrite Gomidas. To learn about Gomidas, you can find part one of his biography over here, and I will be posting part two very shortly. In Armenian weddings, Urach Ler is generally sung before the Trisagion hymn and the elevation of the gospel, and after the joining of the right hands. We also find this hymn during feast days and celebrations, particularly as a hymn of sensing for feasts of the church. For example, we sang it just this past weekend for the 25th anniversary of St. Gregory the Illuminator here in Toronto, which is the church that I attend. Here's a clip of our church choir singing Urach Led from the Choran for this special Sunday, led by choir master Yesai Sarkisian, who is my dear papa. I was playing organ at the time, so you won't see me on the altar, but it really was a beautiful dedication, and I hope you enjoy it. Here's a translation of the text. Urach ler sur piegeretzi, be joyful, holy church, kanzi Christos arkain yergnitz, because Christ, King of heaven, I sor besagiatz eskes hachivan yurov, today crowned you with his cross. He of zartariatz zamurisko, and decorated your bastion, eskan cheli parok yuro, with his wonderful glory. Gomides' arrangement of this feast hymn goes back and forth between C harmonic minor and C major. And we see that right away. We land on that diatonic major chord on very specific words. Yigeretzi, meaning church, Hachivan Yurov, his cross, 
Zartaliat, decorated. The back and forth between the C harmonic minor and the C major definitely keeps the ear awake and interested, but it also, I think, plays into the double meaning of the text. It's certainly celebratory, be joyful, holy church, decorated your home with his wonderful glory, but it's also weighty in its poeticism. Be joyful because Christ the King crowned you with his cross. There's responsibility and ultimately a life's commitment involved, so it's certainly not a light him. And I think going back and forth between the harmonic minor and the major musically plays into that quite well. Okay, let's jump into the hymn. I hope you enjoy Urachler. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Music of the Armenian Liturgy. As we move into the month of December, I'm going to be releasing videos every other week so that I can release Christmas covers and other fun material this season. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified for all of my uploads. Thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you in my next video.